What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're here with my buddy Brent. This guy is responsible for all this jersey stuff that's been happening behind the scenes. And we're super excited to finally release these jerseys. You guys can get these in the description right now. There's a link down there. Go buy one if you want one. I, I mean, of course you want one. Look at this thing. It's sweet. Yep, but NWA MTB yeah. has a sweet looking jersey. Yeah, pretty exciting to finally get these out. Took a few months to, for this to happen. Yeah, but. sampling process, and then order a sample, get all the design right, and we're there. Yeah. So yeah, if you guys want one, they're in the description. You can go get one. They're actually, we were able to get international shipping. It's just gonna cost you a little bit more. Yeah, I have to figure that out. I usually just service customers in the US, but it's no problem at all. Just reach out to me, Brent at Flow Bike, where I'll make it happen. Perfect. So yeah, today we're here at Slaughter Pen, and we're just here to just talk as we're riding pretty much. So we'll just be riding down trails and talking about some different stuff about his company and about how these jerseys came to be. Let's get right into the video. Sweet. Yeah, that's always a good way to warm up the day. Yeah. Dropping into All American. Touch a kid at heart. Oh. Roots. Uh. Whoa. Whoa, they changed this layout. That yeah, they, uh, last week that wasn't here. Yeah, that totally threw me off. Look at that, guys. Strain Train, my favorite trail. It's getting a makeover. And I am excited. That's I got rid of that drop. Some <laughs> chick face planted bad a few weeks ago off that other old drop. Yeah, people do it all the time. It's part of mountain biking, you know, wrecking. Yeah. Don't know if they've understood that yet. I don't like to wreck. It happens, though. It happens when you least expect it. But, yeah, it, I mean, it's... I like that you can still drop it. You know? Yeah, you can still drop it or you can roll it. You can send that really deep though. That's that's concerning how deep you can send that. You know, it's just the landing is so steep that you get you gain so much height. Yeah. With just a little more speed, because that's higher than the old drop. Right oh there. yeah. No, it's like twice as high as the old drop. Yeah. So if you skip that whole ramp section and that's yeah, that's a big drop. But, the but it's a safe, safe place to practice big drops. Oh yeah. Oh, they they finally got these trail signs in. Oh, okay, it's called the Handcuff Hollow Loop. Handcuff Hollow. I see, That that's a good name actually. Yep. It's a fun trail. Yeah, this is a good like bike handling trail. Yeah. Some of the rocks are way too close. Oh yeah. And it's like you hit your bars on them. Yeah, it's tight at or, some Or spot. go off to the, you know, downhill slope. Yeah. Some real tight spots here. It'll be interesting to see what those are like in a few years. These will hold up. Well, no, I'm talking about the roots. Where I'll the redo it. Where the trees go through. I mean, on that one, they put rocks, but. Oh, turtle, turtle. Hey, Mr. Turtle. Yeah, I hadn't seen a turtle in a long time like that. <laughs> See, this stuff's almost already dry. Yeah. I uh, got a little washed out here. Yep. That's uh, unfortunate. Because they built all that up just to have it. That'd be all right. Totally wrecked.
a little slippery. Great trail if you're trying to learn bike handling skills. That's it. Yeah. It's like a nice loop if you're just coming out for a nice little stroll. It's nice, pretty little hollow with some techie. Yeah, it's got techie trails. It's got some pretty technical spots, especially if you're going the other way around it. Oh, jeez. Oh, it's so sloppy down here. Ugh. I thought you, so what do you want to do next? But I didn't want to take a sec to talk, just to sit and talk for a second about. Yeah. We'll start, talk, talk about how you started and then we'll talk about how we cross paths. Okay. Again, I'm Brent Flanagan, uh, owner of Flow Bike, where I started this one day, uh, I was in a fat tire bike shop and I was wanting this Oz Trail jersey and I was like, 120. And I was like, man, I don't feel like spending $120 on a jersey. I'm probably, I'll probably rip it the first day. And uh, so my background professionally, I've worked in retail and done a lot of international like product sourcing. So I just used that experience to find a, a good manufacturer to work with and partner with to uh, get you know get some, get some product get some product in and and do custom things for teams and companies and events and uh, now YouTubers. <laughs> and uh, yeah, just growing it. It's, it's been uh, just a little side project of mine for the last three years, and it just keeps growing and it's fun. Uh, make meet a lot of interesting people like you, and uh, we got introduced through uh, probably Tyler Thompson, Ride for Recovery. Yeah, it was. I think it was Gina. Or Gina. Yeah. And uh, did so, you know did a jersey for them to, for their their riding group, and I mean that, that takes me today. Um, maybe one day I can do this full time, but right now it's just a little part time passion. And uh, and if I ship your order late, it's because I'm out riding mountain bikes or chasing my two year old. Huh. But I'll get it to you. Yeah, yeah. Orders are a bit out right now, but that's just because the company that he's or the, the factory he's working with is just back back ordered on stuff but yeah they do stuff for scott and a lot of other major uh mountain bike companies yeah and so they you know they're packed full and they've also got corona to deal with you know but hopefully through the winter time the shipping time will get a lot faster but for now it's going to be a bit slower yeah i get them the jerseys in bulk and then pack them up and ship them out to you but yeah it's been it's been fun designing this jer this jersey mini if you and if you didn't know my logo was designed my original logo was designed by my mom uh she's super into the you know graphic design and all that but you know whenever uh i talked to brent i told him send me a template and i'll you know get to work on it with my mom and see what we can come up with what we like and so me and my mom worked on the jersey design for a while then we got this sample right here turned out pretty good there's a few things that that were small that somehow didn't make it through but a few we, tweaks and now it's ready to go yeah now, um, I, now i'm pretty happy it's it's simple it gets the point across you know yep and these jerseys are they're made with uh you know polyester meshes and silk fronts and I mean, Eli, it's, it's 90 degrees outside and Eli's wearing a long sleeve jersey. Um, oh yeah, I was probably the coolest, the, the cold, or I was probably like one of the least hot people at Bi Bi Benville Bike Fest when it was like 90 something degrees out. I was hot, but like this thing literally just soaked my sweat up and made it evaporate, you know? I felt pretty cool because the sun's not beating straight down on my skin, you know? I Because I, this, right now my arm feels cold. Right now, but if 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 long sleeve is not your thing, you can get short sleeve. It's not a big deal. So yeah, it's available in long sleeve, short sleeve, three quarter sleeve, and you can get it. What what are the sizes? Uh, extra extra small through five XL. All right, yeah. So yeah, hopefully, and that's an adult size. So yeah, if if that, I mean, I think seven year old can wear extra extra small. Mm -hmm. You can check. There's a sizing chart. It has the chest uh, dimensions on it. Yeah. So hopefully you can find one if you're a smaller kid or you want to get one for a smaller kid. Hopefully you can find one that they can fit in. But yeah, they're out. Hopefully uh, 
hopefully you guys enjoy them when you get them. Well, we're, we're, I'm hoping to eventually do a seasonal design each year so you guys can get fresh new jerseys each year that have some kind of theme with my channel. This one will hopefully always be available, but uh, I'm hoping to make some seasonal ones that each year that we can, you know, just push out to everyone at the beginning of each season. But we'll have to see about that. You know, it depends on how the sales do. I'm ready, I'm ready to do this drop. Yeah. I'm starting to get a little sketched out because of the wet wood. Oh. Uh, but I think it's all right. I'll go first. <coughs> this is a really beautiful I'm going to hit it straight answer. on. Oh, I case that so bad. Oh my gosh. That landed way short on that. Dude, me too. Oh, I, I was like, am I going to endo? Am I going to endo? Riding it out. I went straight into the back of the landing. Holy crap. Make sure everything is... I heard my spokes tension, like, really? yeah, <laughs> when I hit landed. Yeah, that was, that was a hard landing for me, man. All right, well, guys, that is going to be the end of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to pick up one of these jerseys, click the link in the description. They are amazing, super comfortable. I, you know, I, I never get hot when I ride this. It's, it still feels cool right now, even though I'm soaked in sweat. But, yeah, thanks to Brent for helping me out with this, and it's looking forward to, you know, doing everything in the future. Cool. Nice ride. Yeah, nice ride. Thanks for watching and don't forget to shred the gnar.